What's up, freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Low Res DIY. So, in our last two videos, we built a new server. We installed TrueNAS Scale on it, set up a uh, user and some storage for it. So now let's start building upon that, and let's. Uh, well, we're going to start off with uh, Qubit Torrent, Qubit Torrent, and uh, set that app up. But we're going to follow that video up with even more. Uh, app videos probably we'll start with after that probably duplex and then sonar radar prowler uh piehole not piehole uh octoprint things like that so if that interests you or you're you're trying to build up your true nas scale server go ahead and click on that subscribe button hit the notification bells and hopefully i can get these guys out a little quicker than i normally get videos out Work's been a bear, but hopefully uh, it's coming to an end here soon. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so I've logged into my test server here. And first thing we're going to want to do is over here on the left, we're going to click on apps. Right now there's nothing installed, so we'll click on view library. It's going to ask you for a pool to uh, store all of its, its uh, data in all the app data that it needs to actually run the app. So I have a pool called bulk. I'm going to choose it and it's going to go ahead and set up a, a data set just for bulk or just for the uh, uh, app information. So we'll give it a few minutes here. Oh, all right. It's finished up. Uh, had to run downstairs and get some of the uh, video creating necessities all right so we're gonna hit close and let's go back and look at our storage real quick and you'll see it created this ix applications that's where it's going to store all the uh the data to run the uh apps for us if we look at our permissions everything's root right now but that will change when we once we start adding things in so back to apps available applications so these are the applications that the uh true nas scale creators uh you know say work with uh they're the ones they they recommend i guess i would say eventually we'll put true charts in here and this list will grow by quite a bit but before we get started with the qubit torrent i'm going to install net data this is super easy you can give it a name you can just call it net data and we're just gonna agree to everything and let it download and install the app all right so let's go back to our installation application and you'll see that it is uh deploying right now this could take a couple minutes just kick back and wait for it All right, so once it goes to active, we're able to click on web portal. And all this does is it just gives you some really good information about what's going on with your server. Uh, later, let's just stay local. It gives you your CPU usage, your read, your writes for your, uh, well, here, let's, uh, pencil. And let's move him over there. All right, so it gives you your reads and writes of your hard drives or your data shares, your CPU usage, your network usage, your used RAM. It, uh, you don't have to have this running by any means, but, uh, well, what the heck? Oh, turn the pencil off. There we go. But, uh, well, you'll see why we installed it later. So let's go ahead and click on qubit qb torrent so let's call it uh, you can only use lowercase letters in your application name we're going to click next and we're just going to go ahead and click next on uh application name configuration once we get the storage we're going to add some storage and we are going to drill this down i created a media data set on here and we're going to give it all right so that is the location that's the data set that we're going to be accessing 
This is the name of the directory that Qubit Torrent will be downloading things into. It'll make sense later, but uh, go ahead and do that. We're going to hit next, 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 and save. All right, so we'll click over here to applications. Now it's deploying. This is the only, really the only reason I put net data on there is because I like to be able to click over here and you can see right, right there that it is uh, downloading some things and what's it freezing for? All right, you can see that it was downloading things over here and the CPU usage is low right now. Heck, it's activated already. So well, the only reason I put the net, net data on there is because I like to be able to watch as it downloads stuff, this will continue to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Some of these applications are kind of massive and they take a while. This is just a way for me to click back and see, all right, it's still downloading. I'm still waiting on stuff. And once it gets done downloading, this will slow way down. Well, then your G CPU usage will, it'll shoot up. So then you know the application is being installed. That's the only reason I do it. It's just to kind of keep tabs on it to see how long the doggone thing is going to take before it's done. This guy, pretty dang, pretty dang quick. So once it's installed, if we click on web portal, what's going on here? Why isn't it uh, authorizing it? Well, we're going to get that fixed. So let's just go up here, click on it, highlight it. You press enter, it comes up. So let's go ahead your username is admin and your password is admin admin click enter you can save it if you want that's up to you this is just a test machine for me so i'm not going to so first thing we're going to going to want to do is we're going to go up here to this little gear right here click on it we're going to hit uh web gui is what we're going to want to hit we're going to scroll down we're going to change our username to whatever you choose for me it's going to be low risk a super strong password as always you can then click bypass authentication for clients on local uh host and then bypass authentication from clients on the whitelist and we're going to go ahead and add that and you just type in whatever network you're using if you're using the 10.10.10.10 you type that in and you use it and then we are going to unclick enable cross-site request uh, forgery. We're going to click save. And then let's go back and click on our web port portal again. And bam, that's up and running. All right, job done on that. We got it fixed. Next thing up is in our downloads right here. If you remember, we uh, designated the slash media by uh, directory as as uh, extra storage for QB Torrent. So that's where I want to download everything at. So right here, default save path, I'm going to change that to slash media. We're going to go ahead and save that. And then let's go ahead and see if there's anything else we want to change. Do, do, do. Speeds, I'm going to leave those at zero, zero because that means it's unlimited. So you're not going to uh, go faster than, than what you have through your uh, internet provider. But I'll try to go as fast as we can. Okay, I think that's all I uh, want to go ahead and change in here. So let's try to download something. Of course, we're going to use the old standard Ubuntu BitTorrent download. You're going to right click, copy link address, go back to QB Torrent, then up here, this little chain looking deal. We're going to click it, and then you're going to paste that link into the uh, area over here, up here, the uh, only one link per line. It's that's what it is. And then uh, it's downloading to your slash media. And let's click download and see if it will start downloading something. And there you go. It's starting to download now.
if you uh to have a look up here here's the file you're downloading the size here's the percentage done and your download status is whoop wow craziness going on download status is right there the number of seeds that are out there you're eventually going to be part of that if you leave this file in the uh directory where you downloaded it you have two peers that i'm downloading from right now i don't know why it's only two peers but it's going pretty quick so i'm not going to complain about it your download speed i'm going at 3.4 megabytes per second that is determined by the number of peers that you're pulling from and it's also determined by how much speed they're allocating for uploads from their system uh, your upload speed we're not uploading anything right now your eta on how long it's going to take for you to download ratio who knows category tags and then add it on 625 that's just the date that you started downloading it so i am going to chill out for a second and go ahead and let this download and then we're going to see if we can access it oh, oh, oh the amazon guy was just here dropped off a little package for me well it was a guy or a gal i don't know i didn't see him i just heard somebody knock on the door and Check it out, bro and broettes. Ooh, that's got a big old glare on it. There's no way you're gonna see that. There we go, DJI Mini SE drone. Figured I'd give the drone life a little try here. And I'll tell you what, if you're interested in that, throw a comment down in the comments and I'll tell you if it's worth the 300 bucks I paid for it. All right. Now that it, that it is done downloading, you'll notice that it changed the status to seeding. That means you're part of the chain now, and if someone else starts downloading it, you'll see your upload speed start going up, and you'll be helping everybody else hopefully download their files quicker also. So with that, let's open another file explorer here. Let's drag it over here. I have already created the share. I've already shared it to this system. It's right here. It's my media. And ignore the rest of this stuff. We'll be using that in a later video. But right here. Whoa, that's crazy. It doesn't like what I was doing. It looks like a couple of my key binds also affect the uh, Windows Explorer view tab so if we go to details right here you can see the file that we downloaded we can right click and copy it to use somewhere else or to put it on USB drive and give it to someone else whatever you want to do all right so we have our first app installed and we're ready to start building off of it our next video I think we're going to do is uh, Plex and uh, kind of start going from there with the sonars and the r's like i was talking about earlier in the video if uh it interests you go ahead and karate chop that uh like button and roundhouse kick that subscribe button and check you later oh wait wait wait, wait, wait. if you're interested in the uh drone throw a comment in the uh comments and maybe I'll make a video about that. So all over again, check you later.